Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. My name is Christina. In this video, let's talk about one of my most favorite fragrance houses, Tiziana Terenzi. Let's start this video with one of my most favorite or used fragrances that I have. These are summer and spring appropriate. I also wear them in winter. So the first one is Andromeda and the second one is Kirke. Both fragrances I have also mentioned on this channel, I think multiple times. I just think these are must-haves. If you love summer and spring fragrances, something fruity, floral, a bit woody or musky, then these are definitely the ones that you should try. So let's start with Andromeda. This one is a woody, sweet, vanilla, white floral fragrance that has elang elang, jasmine, peach, uh, pure blossom, white heliotrope, ebony with coconut, tonka bean, amber, vanilla, musk. This one is a bit more woody and also floral, a bit fruity but not that much. What I get in the end is something like an expensive spa lotion. I can smell this on my skin the whole day until I wash it off. You know, sometimes people can smell fragrances on you but you really can't after maybe five, six hours. This one, I keep smelling it the whole day and I'm not over spraying like two, three sprays and that's it. I love how complex it is. It's fresh but also sweet, woody, rounded, floral, beautiful with that peach. I just love it on my skin. This is like the best everyday fragrance and also it smells like a rich and expensive lady as I always say. Something very grown up with a class, rich, you know, nothing where you can say, oh, I couldn't wear it in spring, summer. This is just for some certain occasions. No, definitely worth investing in this fragrance. I'm glad I spent my money on it and that I bought it. What a beautiful fragrance. Let's now move on to Kirke. So this was my first fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi and I have heard so many people rave about this fragrance, like you need to try this, this is a must have, beautiful tropical, sweet, musky, fruity fragrance with passion fruit. And I'm a lover of passion fruit, so I was like, okay, let me try it. And this was a blind buy and I'm glad I have it because this is truly my number one summery fragrance. It is unisex, although I thought in the beginning this is maybe a bit more feminine leaning, but now when my husband wears it and summer, this is very beautiful, sexy. Again, the performance of this fragrance is out of this world. It has its place in my collection and I keep using it maybe every third day. So, you know, sometimes in winter when you feel just gloomy and you're sad when you spray this fragrance, this truly puts a smile on your face and it reminds you of summer. So for the lovers of summery fragrances, try Kirke. Let's now move on to a tester and this is Chimera. I love this fragrance. This is easily one of my top fragrances from Tiziana Terenzi. I love the Tolu Balsam, the saffron leather, honey, tobacco, a bit of that oud caramel. The oud isn't as prominent. It doesn't go in that direction being, being very oriental. It's rather ambery and spicy, slightly aromatic a little bit, but that sweetness and how rich it is, really balsamic. I would wear it in summer, in spring, in winter. Could be a signature fragrance that has some power to it. And it gives me those tobacco vanille by Tom Ford vibes. It's not as masculine, not as winter appropriate. This one is more versatile, a little bit sweeter, a bit more unisex, and also the longevity. Like the longevity is, again, so nice. I get maybe eight hours out of this fragrance. It projects beautifully and it is also sexy, but not a lot. This is what I love about this fragrance so much. It, it could be sexy, it could be versatile. You're all occasions fragrance for men, women. So if you're into sweet balsamic fragrances with Tolu balsam, saffron, leather, you know, honey, tobacco, caramel, try it. Let's now move on to a fragrance that if Kimaira was this nice, versatile fragrance, all occasions winter, summer, but still balsamic and sweet, then Laudano Nero is the next level. This fragrance, I will rock it in winter so much. I love this fragrance more masculine leaning boozy rich seductive and in winter this would smell awesome my first reaction when i smelled it was this is a husband of good girl gone bad by killian if you love good girl gone bad by killian but you're looking for something a bit more unisex not as feminine leaning and that is more boozy and richer try love down on nero such an intoxicating fragrance what I mostly get is that boozy cognac with tobacco. It's all very sweet, syrupy and balsamic. When it settles on my skin in the dry down, I get a bit of that dustiness, something maybe like cacao pot. It's just not as syrupy and cognac heavy, but it goes more in that direction. Dusty, balsamic, with the honey, 
tobacco uh, this is to me just purely a wintery fragrance or if on man then yes maybe summer winter but you have to be into very resinous balsamic and boozy fragrances to appreciate this one now a fragrance for the lovers of white flowers you have here vanilla coconut almonds tube rose and this is borel Again, this is the extra de Parfum, so it's very long lasting, above average, enormous longevity performance. And this is for the lovers of white flowers. It is not fresh, it's rather creamy, powdery, you know, it has the almond, the coconut. It could be a little bit exotic, not tropical, but rather exotic and still very versatile, office appropriate, nice uh, signature fragrance for women. I would say this is feminine leaning. When I smell it, this is a bit fruity, but more floral, but I love the combination of those delicious plums and pears in combination with that exotic coconut, white flowers, sandalwood, so gorgeous, complex signature fragrance if you're into white flowers i feel like this is a must try a nice slightly exotic white floral fragrance called bora now a fragrance that i wanted to try so much because it is from their latest collection the sea star collection and this one is atlantida so again i have a tester and let me know what you think of the packaging like a uh, fragrance bottle in water very interesting like you don't see that very often and again this fragrance extra de parfum the longevity performance soliage projection just out of this world as always this is to me a milky and powdery tube rose that is very sophisticated could be a one of the most special white floral and yellow floral fragrances that you have and this one I would actually wear a lot in spring and winter. In winter, I think this would smell pretty awesome in spring. The yellow white flowers, you know, that creaminess, how milky it is, a bit lactonic and just gorgeous fragrance. I don't even want to spray it because then I won't smell anything else, just this fragrance. But if you're into white floral fragrances that are a bit green, maybe a bit yellow floral, then definitely try Atlantida. Now for the lovers of Baccarat Rouge, this one is for you. This is Perito Fiore. So again, extra de parfum and this fragrance. Some people say it's not as long lasting. I disagree. I can smell it on my skin like eight plus hours. I don't know when I turn, when I just sit, I keep smelling it from my neck and on my hair, you know, even longer. So this fragrance is a more masculine version of Baccarat Rouge. I don't like really Baccarat Rouge. Well, I love it and then I hate it. I have a love-hate relationship with that fragrance. This one is maybe a better choice for me because it's a bit more leathery, a bit more masculine. It doesn't have that burnt sugar in it. Here, the sweetness isn't as pronounced. When you spray it initially, you just get a blast of the leather and in the dry down, it goes into that sweet Baccarat Rouge that is leathery and a bit more masculine. So this one is definitely more versatile for me. Maybe after 20 minutes is when I enjoy the fragrance the most. Very sexy on man. This is a must have. And also the red bottle. I love the design. It is also animalic. So you just have to enjoy woody, leathery notes, something animalic to appreciate this fragrance. But I love this one. I will treasure this tester because I love it so much. Spirito Fiorentino. Now a fragrance that women just love. This is a tropical beauty. Something you, that you just want to wear when you're on a tropical summer vacation and this is called Cassia Pea. Gorgeous, beautiful, summery, exotic, tropical fragrance. It's fruity, it's sweet, slightly aromatic, fresh, a bit musky. If you're asking what is the difference between maybe Kirke and this one because they maybe sound a bit similar, Kirke is that musky fruity salad. Very, very fruity, passion fruit with musk. This one is a bit more versatile. So Cassia Pea, this is passion fruit meets cassis meets carnation, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, lemon. Beautiful tropical summery vacation. Just something when it's extremely hot outside and humid and you spray this, it's sexy, it's feminine, it's beautiful, like a fragrance that you really want to take with you on a vacation. Now a fragrance that man would appreciate, this one is called Orion and this has that pineapple note in it and no i don't think this is a dupe of crete aventus this is similar but it has pineapple and i think nowadays pretty much anything with pineapple that is a bit witty or it has ambergris and a citrusy will be compared to crete aventus but this is a different fragrance it goes more in that direction foresty 
we do something more complex it's rich it could be worn all year around and I would see it maybe more on men if you're a lady and you love fragrances that remind you of a forest something woody and yet pretty then try it I would wear it because I love masculine leaning fragrances I would maybe agree that people say it's more rich and it has more depth than Crete Aventus and I agree this is dark green foresty a bit slightly uh, smoky but very pretty you have there the pineapple apple birch cedar incense wood again I don't smell it a lot it is very minimal in here uh, musk amber gorgeous mesmerizing dark green foresty fragrance with that pineapple and apple and I have to say the opening is a bit more masculine leaning but the dry down is more unisex so if you love pineapple but not in a tropical exotic way maybe more like foresty with incense with birch apple then definitely try Orion now a fragrance if you love Kirki, Andromeda, Cassiopeia then you would love this fragrance this is Halley this is everything that you would want from a tropical and exotic fragrance that is very versatile you can wear it in winter summer spring fall it's not overwhelming but it's extremely long lasting and it projects like nothing else what i love the most in this fragrance is again like that passion fruit that cassis that peach raspberry you know we have it in other fragrances from titana Terendi, but here it has that creamy touch to it it's also woody a bit musky it has nice vanilla cinnamon so gorgeous beautiful fragrance I could see it on men women so if you love creamy exotic tropical fragrances that have that passion fruit cassis peach raspberry vanilla musk you know they are a bit woody or amory and are quite versatile then definitely try Halley now a very loud and intoxicating fragrance that I think is a bit more masculine leaning is Nero Wood again that sleek matte bottle it's extremely heavy let me tell you this is very heavy and the fragrance I sprayed it once in the morning and I smell it in the evening on my skin this fragrance is so strong it has saffron cypriot oil Indian wood patchouli vanilla cedar violet I got that green vibe in it and I smell a lot of that cypriot oil combined with that rose and saffron and the Indian wood it's not the oriental wood it's soft it's it's there you can smell it but I get a lot of that greenness with that rose together with it like this one I think I would wear it in the winter and again like I sprayed once or twice and that's it I wouldn't over spray with this one because this could be a little bit dangerous but nice fragrance Nero Wood now a fragrance that is the biggest surprise out of these fragrances I think is the one that I didn't expect to like as much but I wanted to try it because this note is in pretty much any fragrance you can buy and I'm not into it and it's rose and this one is called Porpora so this is a true rose fragrance that is amory it's jammy it's balsamic it is so addictive i want to keep smelling it i have been wearing it for a few days and i cannot get enough of it i love rose and fragrances when it's not just about that rose here it's all about the rose and it's jammy and it's balsamic it's amory juicy rich but it's not like winter appropriate i would wear this one in summer now it's spring and i enjoy it like nothing else very feminine could be gorgeous also on men why not it's slightly fruity you know it, you get there something syrupy balsamic juicy jammy it has raspberry bulgarian rose cloves cinnamon incense so it's a tiny bit like smoky amber benzoin chestnut gorgeous fragrance i love this one as i said one of the biggest surprises out of these fragrances that i have here i didn't expect to love it as much but what a masterpiece what a gorgeous rose heavy fragrance like that syrupy and pretty touch to it is what makes it special so sample it smell it somewhere if you can and also the red bottle like it speaks for itself gorgeous design as always so Porpora. now a fragrance for the lovers of tobacco and osmanthus i love tobacco but i love osmanthus even more i want to try pretty much any fragrance with osmanthus in it and this one is arakis gorgeous tobacco sweet woody fragrance with that pretty touch to it a floral you know that osmanthus beautiful longevity is eight plus hours projection is like maybe four to five hours then it starts settling into an average projection like i can smell it here and there but nothing crazy again that floral fruity smell is with combination with spicy nose with saffron with that tobacco tonka bean amber musk 
beautiful fragrance, a bit of patchouli, complex for women, men, like if you're into tobacco and you love sweet fragrances, something maybe like Herod by Perfumes de Marley, definitely try it. It's in like, it's not similar or the same, but you know, it goes in that direction. When you spray it, it's a bit more spicy. You know, you have the, the spicy notes, saffron, citruses, rosemary, a bit, and then it settles into that beautiful tobacco with a creamy, fruity floral asmathus with tonka bean, amber, musk, gorgeous fragrance. I love it, love it, love it. Now a fragrance that is being compared to Black Orchid by Tom Ford and yes, these two fragrances are very similar is Marema. These two fragrances are very similar. I have Black Orchid by Tom Ford and I only wear it in the winter because you know, it is sometimes overwhelming. This one is also woody, sweet, ambery. It has that patchouli, cacao, nice complex unisex. So you have there a lot of notes in the pyramid, you know, that patchouli, along along oak, black currant, honey, cacao, amber, sandalwood. So a huge pyramid of notes, very complex, like woody, uh, sweet, ambery, warm, spicy, cacao, patchouli, that patchouli, you know, you have to be into these notes to appreciate this fragrance but this will be a gorgeous fragrance in the winter something very strong that is deep it has really it has that power to it for men women so marema definitely worth trying out and we're done with the review of 14 testers aka fragrances from titana terenzi let me know which one caught your attention my favorite one was perito fiorentino where this is like that beautiful leathery woody more sophisticated more unisex and less sweet Baccarat Rouge, then Porpora, a gorgeous rose heavy fragrance that is juicy, balsamic. You know, as I said, I don't like rose heavy fragrances, but this one I have been enjoying it for the past few days like nothing else. And Halle, like these from the testers or from the vials that I tried, caught my attention a lot. I'm in love with these fragrances and I would definitely want to try other fragrances from Titana Terenzi because, you know, when you love so many fragrances, then you want to explore more. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.